you know, it's tough to say. I always, I'm always optimistic when I buy a horse. I'm always very optimistic. When I look back at the sale, there's only so many horses I've told everybody from day one I wanted. For those of you out there that are close to me, you know that I actually did really want Seven Dreaming Dio's, hip number 424 that sold for 80000 You know how much I wanted Glacier Hanover after I looked at him. He sold for 470 American. I love Stacy Hanover. We were very fortunate to get her for 45000 Outside of those horses, there was a lot I liked, but I'm going to fall in love with value. I'm going to fall in love with price before I fall in love with a horse. This is a horse that I liked very, very much. And to be honest, I had told Amy, told the people that were with us, this is a filly I wanted to take home. Not necessarily at a price, not necessarily because we didn't get the horses we wanted, but from day one before the first horse walked in the ring, I told everybody I wanted number 730. Now obviously I can't convey that in all my videos. There's a lot of people that watch these videos, a lot of people that are here bidding on horses. And they may not care what I think, but it only takes one to care what I think to run the price up. I really thought that I'd be able to buy number 730 One My Heart Hanover for 12 or 13,000. That's what I thought. But I was willing to go to 20. And she pushed me right to the edge. $19,000 is how much I had to pay for her. I liked her because, as you can see, she's a statue again out here, behaving. She was acting up coming out of the ring because she was excited. But when she's out here on the floor, she doesn't move a muscle. Very polite, very, very smart filly. So let's talk about her. Sebastian K. Philly, who was born on February 22nd. Nice early birthday. She's out of a mare that had 52 lifetime wins and made $682,000 by Inquirer. Inquirer is a valley victory. She got America 155 and 2, her mother, on a 5 8 mile track. His first dam is full of horses that raced, no killers, three winners out of five foals. Nothing to write home about, 12 wins, 80,000. That's a mid-condition horse, but there's lots of two-year-old speed in here. Whistlet Hanover, Wicklet Hanover, winning 56 and four, 45,000 made, 60,000 internationally. And then also Secret Zet. Secret Zet took a young mark also. Donato Hanover, Wing Zang, Whiz Bang Hanover. Jesus, that's a terrible name. That was an RC royalty. To also took a two-year-old two lifetime mark. Now if you look in the second dam, obviously you see their mother. Who took what? You also see another one. Put them on hold. 505,000 by call toll free. I don't know what the hell a call toll free is, but it made four, it, it made 505,000 and won 42 races. And then even below there, a Juama. There's a horse selling it at a Juama. I can't remember who. A Juama by Jailhouse Jesse, $366,000. There is an abundance of speed, an abundance of money and talent in this family. I really, really like this filly, and I know I didn't convey it the way I would have liked to in my earlier videos, but that was obvious. I couldn't do that. So number 730, although I thought she'd bring 12 or 13, and I was willing to go to 20, just finished under the line. I got her for $19,000. This is one of my top picks, I would think. Now take it for what it is. I don't like her over Glacier Hanover or any of those horses, but dollar for dollar for what horses should have brought, what they look like, and how much I like them. This was one of my top picks for the entire sale. Number 730, One My Heart Hanover. She's coming home with us. It's our sixth horse, our last spot on the bus, so to speak. One My Heart Hanover, number 730, $19,000. Would you mind just walking her down just for a second? Come on, sweetie. Come on. 